Hi, I'm Shayla with Revolting Science Resources, a company designed to bring the principles of project management to academic scientists. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a little about Lettuce Me. So what is Lettuce Me? It's a scheduling tool that allows you to find a time to meet for multiple different people. So we all know the pain of going back and forth between four different people trying to find a time and a date that works for everybody. This makes that process much more streamlined and faster. When I was in grad school, I used a similar tool called when to meet and I used it for things like scheduling my committee meetings or trying to find a time where the entire lab could get together for a lab meeting or maybe for a lab outing or two. But there are a few features of Lettuce Meet that I like a little more than when to meet. So overall, I really like the aesthetics of Lettuce Meet a bit better than when to meet. And I also like the fact that you can log in and then see previous links that you would have created and shared with people, as well as connect your Google Calendar so that it can actually automatically tell when you'll be available for a potential meeting. So if you've been looking for an easier way to find a date and time that works for multiple different people, why don't you take this time right now and set up a Let Us Meet account with me? All right, let's get started. So this is what Let Us Meet looks like. It actually will start when you first open it on this Let Us Meet page where you can just really quickly set up a meeting, but I wanna walk through a little about how it works. So first you can actually give it a range of dates or just a single date for when you wanna meet for an entire group. Then you can fill in your own availability and then create a link that you share with the group so that they can fill in their availability. Like I mentioned though, Let Us Meet has a couple of other cool features. So for example, if you actually sign up, you are able to integrate your Google Calendar so that's really great because then it can actually automatically see when you're available. Um, you can also update your meetings anytime. So it actually will essentially save the links that you've created so that you can make edits or see what the results are without having to have saved the link ahead of time. You can also get notifications when someone responds to a meeting that you've set up, but then also when a meeting that you've responded to has been scheduled. So that's a little about Let Us Meet. And one of the reasons I think this is super great just for academic research in particular is for committee meetings. I know that was always a struggle, especially when I needed to have some most of the time in the spring, like right before graduation and the whole entire academic year is kind of ending before summer. It would be really tricky to find a time to meet with five different faculty members. So things like Let Us Meet are really useful for being able to identify when everybody's available and easily schedule meetings. So with that, let's actually set up an account. So I'm just gonna sign in with my Google account and you'll need to make sure that it has access to Google Calendar. Once I do that, essentially we can set up a really quick poll. So this is a let's meet. You can give your meeting a name. I'll call this test committee meeting. What's your meeting about? You can then put a quick description about what the meeting's about. Then you can put what times you wanna meet between. Nine to five is generally pretty standard. And then this is gonna be a group meeting. Um, just to note that you can also do this for one-on-one -on -one meetings, but I personally think booking calendars are better for that. And then you can also set advanced options, such as limiting the scheduled meeting time to a specific duration. Once you have all that filled out, then you can click create. And essentially that creates this test committee meeting. So then you can edit details if you need to, but then you can also share it. And that gives you a link that you can share with others. In this example, I literally just selected the current date, but maybe this is something I wanna do over the span of a full week. So in this scenario, I'll actually just edit the poll that I created. And then all I'll have to do is just click to select. You can also click again to deselect the dates I want this to span and save those changes. And then now you can see I actually have a full week that's available here. So for this example, I'll actually start by adding my availability manually. So you can just click add availability. Let's say I'm available all day Monday, but I'm actually only available during lunch on Tuesday and Thursday. And then mostly just the morning on Wednesday and just the afternoon on Friday. So for this, I will click save. And then now it shows my availability and the responder, which is me. But now let me go to an incognito tab and show you what that looks like if you are sending this to someone else. So this is the incognito tab. And you can see that since I already filled in my own availability, it actually shows up for the person that clicks the link. And then they can now add their own availability. So say I am actually only available around lunch um, on Monday and Tuesday, but 
free all day Wednesday, morning of Thursday, and the afternoon of Friday. Then I can click continue. I'm a guest in this scenario. You would have to include your name to include the availability. So I'll say tester one. And then you can include an email address if you want. Um, if you want to, you can also set it up an account from here too if you are a guest. But we'll just click continue. And now you can see that these parts that are actually dark green show that they overlap for both of us. Whereas the parts that are lighter, those are only when one of us is available. So that's what that looks like for someone on the other end of things. And now if we hop back to the lettuce meat that I created, we can see again that all those changes reflected, but we can also schedule. So let's say actually it looks like this is the perfect time for this meeting. And we'll just do it Tuesday at noon. Then we can do that and click save. So the event has been scheduled because the other party in this scenario didn't include their email address, they won't get notifications that it's been scheduled. So you might still need to go in and actually notify them. But if they do all have accounts, then the really great thing is this can actually just give them emails automatically. Another thing to note is that when you log in and create an account, you can get notifications. So here you can see that tester one actually responded and then it can take you directly to that poll. If you actually go to your profile, you can see all of the polls that you've created as well as the ones that you've responded to, which don't exist here. You can also change any specific settings that you like. So now I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like when you have a meeting shared with you through Lettuce Me. So you can see here, this example meeting too has been shared with me for this week. So now when I go to add my availability, it'll actually pull from my Google Calendar when I'm already busy. And so now I can still set when I want to be free just in case there's other things I anticipate going on or might want to just be available for. And then I can click save. And then again, it'll have me listed as a responder, but it essentially just kind of helps remind you of the things that are already on your calendar so that it's really easy to fill in your availability. And I think that's one of the really cool features of Lettuce Meet if you do decide to create a profile. So that's it for this video, walking you through setting up a profile with Lettuce Meet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. But also, I want to hear from you. What are some things you are planning to use Lettuce Meet for in your academic research? I'd love to hear your answers in the comment section below. But that is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.